Hey everyone and welcome to this review and unboxing of the Light Scoop Deluxe. This is a flash diffuser reflector that basically bounces your pop-up flash from your DSLR camera and it just makes a more natural light rather than having direct light from your pop-up flash that never looks good. You want something that's reflected and more diffused. And so let's open up this box. So I got this in the mail. It comes with a little pouch and some directions. These directions look like they give you some tips on using the tool. Inside this little pouch, we got a reflector. It's pretty nice. And the attachments that allow you to attach it to your camera. So this is good for most DSLRs. I'm using a Canon 7D right now. So it looks like it has a couple of these hot shoes that kind of fit in your hot shoe right here. So let me just put that in there like that. And then this thing looks like it goes right in there and then it will plug in there. But first we have to actually open up our pop-up flash. So let me go ahead and do that. So again, this is the Canon 7D and then this just goes in there like that. So you can see Oh, there I am, hey. <laughs> so you can see how this reflector would reflect the light coming from your f direct flash, and it, that's really going to make your photos look a lot better. Basically, it, ha it does adjust. You can point it more back or more up, depending on if you want to bounce the light onto the ceiling or to the back wall uh, behind you. Of course, this isn't going to do much if you're outdoors without something to bounce the flash off of. You need the light to bounce off this reflector and then bounce onto the ceiling or to the wall behind you uh, to make it look good. So if you're inside, this is where you would use this tool. And so it's a great tool to use if you're shooting events, weddings, anything that's inside a room that you need a flash, you need to add more light to the room. You can't just change your settings uh, to adjust for the dim light and you need to use your flash. Rather than using your pop-up flash, use this. And I'm always about natural light photography, uh, but this is really going to get me into using my flash more often. So I'm going to go test it out and we're going to look at the pictures in just a sec. Okay, so here are some photos that I just practiced with. I used my favorite models, the ones that will let me take pictures of them at my house, so I got a pumpkin, my cat, and myself. And so with this photo here, you can see that with the flash from the pop-up, you have this really nasty glare right in the middle just from that direct flash. And then you see, since I'm using a lens that's kind of big, you see the shadow from the lens at the bottom of this image. Both of those things, so ugly. This flash is really bright against this salt and pepper shaker over here. It's reflecting against this chair. And then when I go into the diffused flash using the light scoop, it's so much better. It's nice and flat. You don't get that glare. The light was bouncing off the ceiling. So it just looks really nice. And you can see in this side-by-side -side view, the direct comparison and just how much better it looks with the light scoop. So let's go on to another one. Here is one of my cat with a direct flash from the pop-up, no light scoop, and then with the light scoop. One thing I noticed when I was going and taking these photos was with the light scoop, you definitely have to compensate for the lower light that you're getting from your camera. So you might have to open up your aperture, slow down your shutter speed, or boost your ISO so that you're getting more light. Now I took these and it was a little bit dark outside and so there wasn't much light inside and that's why it's a little bit grainy because I have a boosted ISO. But in terms of the flash, here you have her eyes that are looking really frightening. You get this red eye from the cats and that's one thing you get with uh, a flash but with the diffuse flash, you don't get that. So here you see the side by side. You also get a more natural white balance straight out of the photo. It's a little bit warmer on the right one, a bit cooler on the left one from that flash. Here's another one of the cat. Again, you see that shadow at the bottom from the lens itself, and it's just so harsh. 
And this one, during the day, you see that there's light outside, but with the flash, that light from outside is actually a beautiful backlight. And here's the one with the light scoop uh, diffuser, and it just looks so good. And then here is here it is side by side. And then lastly, here is a couple. Here are a couple shots of myself, and you just see the difference with the direct flash with the light scoop, a lot flatter and more pleasant to the eye with the light scoop. Here you see this flash in the reflected poster behind me and in my eye and on my face. You can really see the how sweaty I really am. And with the light scoop, it looks a lot better. So here's that side-by-side -side view. Again, just better for taking portraits. And then here's the last one. This is a great example. This is just me in front of a white wall, but you get this nasty shadow right behind my head with the pop-up flash. The eyes ha have this big flash in the pupil, which some people don't mind. That's actually kind of nice in some photos, but you get, you know, you can see the sweat on my forehead and on my cheeks, and I would rather not see that. And so here with the light scoop, much more diffuse, softer light, way better for portraits. And so the light scoop is a great thing to get. It's only 40 bucks and it will make your flash photos 10 or more times better. There's an incredible difference. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this review and we'll see you in another video.